So President Trump has coronavirus. This is not good. It throws a new uh, twist into an already twisted year and a twisted uh, political campaign. Uh, we all wish the president uh, a speedy recovery, uh, but not everyone feels this way. I've been quite dismayed uh, to see on social media that with some notable exceptions, Rachel Maddow in particular, uh, there's been a lot of sort of gloating and glee and schadenfreude, delight in someone else's misery. And all of this is extremely um, distasteful. Um, one guy puts out, uh, there must be a God. He can't contain himself with um, delight. So this is very, very bad, and there's no excuse for it whatsoever. You can say, I suppose, well, wait a minute, Trump didn't take the coronavirus seriously, and therefore he deserves it. But think about it, that's not something you would say in any other context. You wouldn't say, for example, even if a smoker who got cancer, well, he deserved it. We're really happy that he's going to croak over this, and it's his own fault, and we wish him the worst. And thank God this happened. Uh, this would be, um, to put it mildly, inhumane. Now, politically, I can sort of understand the eager anticipation of the left. They have found Trump to be a very recalcitrant and difficult opponent to handle. They don't know how to handle him. And the idea that somehow they might be able to see this campaign through without him uh, in other words, if they can get rid of him, uh, their guy has a much better chance. I can sort of understand this, but let's remember that we are in an election season. Uh, Trump has been put into the presidency by the American people. They have every chance to fire him within the next, really, in 30 days. So if we believe in a democratic process, then that's the way to get rid of your opponents, not to wish them ill, not to wish that they get killed in accidents or by disease or, God forbid, some other way. I think there's a silver lining in here for Trump, which is that he might emerge stronger for all this. Think about it. If he gets through it, uh, first of all, he'll have some immunity, which will unleash him. Uh, in that case, my suggested motto for him is no more Mr. Nice Guy. In other words, keep up that volcanic uh, energy uh, and keep up the relentless attention to uh, keeping America great, uh, his agenda. Uh, as for the ghoulish people, the soulless characters who have been wishing ill on Trump, um, try not to lose your humanity. You're actually pretending to be apostles of carefulness, uh, of safety, out of presumed consideration for your fellow man. Well, let's try to extend a little bit of that compassion to the President of the United States, your leader, whether you acknowledge him or not.